Yes. Scatter plots and pie charts, they're all in chapter four. Yeah. This is the real reason why scatter plots and pie charts are important. This is a kid who does not know how to do pie charts and scatter plots. This is a kid who does know how to do line plots and pie graphs. Yeah. See? Amazing. See? We'd all be animals if if we didn't know how to do line line plots or pie graphs. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what you're thinking, Johnny? When am I ever going to use this in life? I mean, come on. But in fact, this is the kind of question that separates 7A from 7C. But we're going to answer it anyway. Okay. When you want to know a percentage fast, Tony, you got to know, first, facts. you got to know the percentage. What's the percentage of me using pie graph in life? 100%, Johnny. 100%. There are three kinds of scatter plots. Positive, which go up. And negative correlations, which go down. And then, there's also no relations, which are speckled every single which way. Also known as neutral. Yes, also known as neutral. Thank Just you. like this. Pie graph? Mm -mm. Pie graph? No, it's disgusting. Pie graph. No, but they're 20 inches. Yeah, yeah. No, too late. Pie graph? No, hello, it's dirty. Facts that sound like they're true, but really, they're not. Abe Lincoln created the pie graph. See? There's pie graphs all over here. Here, 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 and here. When you're a business, people want to see the facts. They want to see the percentages and stuff. So, you're going to be a businessman and make some moolah. I'll make it rain. You're gonna need them in life. So, right now, I'm are, are you okay? Ow. You okay? Yeah, ow, that hurts. This, this is for all the ladies in the math class. class.